All right. As we were saying, by the Recovery Bibles for America, it would be good to get a copy of this if you can. It was free. Go to BiblesForAmerica.org. Um, it's called the Recovery Bible. It has some really interesting and and quite excellent in some in many in many cases um, um, footnotes. You know, saying this this thing called the recovery, the recovery version, the New Testament recovery version, published by Living Stream Ministry from Anaheim, California, and it has outlines, footnotes, charts, and references written by Witness Lee. Witness Lee. So we recommend, we highly recommend, the recovery um, Bible, the recovery version of the Bible. But in continuing with our teaching on Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John, the four pillars. You understand the four pillars. It's very important for us to understand the four pillars. Now, we point out that the four pillars, these corners here, you understand these, these cardinal points, the two solstices and the two equinoxes, you understand? We point out how the, the four you understand, know becomes, becomes the eight or the octagon. We pointed out the Freedom Tower, so-called Freedom Tower, that they renamed the One World Center. They wanted to name it already, but they wanted to make it seem like, hey, we're just doing this along with you, so and so on. It's all part of their plan, right? But it's interesting when you look at that shape, what that shape does, how that shape morphs, morphs and how right now it's at a midway, it's at a midway point, it's at a very midway point. So what we didn't point out was how the circle becomes a square. I don't know how many of you are familiar with that, that mystery. That's one of the mystery school or the mystery school teachings, but it's very mathematical. You understand how the, how the circle becomes a square. It's kind of fun, and once you learn and teach it to your children, how the circle becomes a square. Because the circle, and this explains creation too. This also is a way of geometrically explaining the principles of creation. Now, what has been done over time is that in a lot of different cultures, mythologies, certain mythologies that were true or ways of explaining it have been used. And then also what they've utilized is this ancient science, keeping people in ignorance and a lot of superstition have used this against people as well. You understand? This is largely what's going on um, in this world system known as Babylon or Babel. Now, we've also pointed out that this September 11th to 12th time that we're in right now is significant for more than one reason. It's not only being an equinoctial gate, a corner. It's one of the corners in the equinoctial gate. You understand? It is also the Bob L gate. You understand the Bob L gate or the gate of God, the gate of God, mainly because of the link with Rosh Hashanah. We have Rosh Hashanah as well as the Adis Ahmet or the Ethiopian Hebrew Hebraic New Year, the Ethiopian New Year, all right? Okay, that should stop beeping just now. I mean, I mean, I bet to ante burukne, All right. So now let us just review quickly. If you just, if you just, um, linked on with us right now, if you just logged on and linked on, and this is the first one you're, you're going to, we we touched on um Rastafari preliminary notes to the uh, H I M Halasalasiam Hard Bible. You understand, written by yours truly. You understand, and in this particular book, we have um, the interview of His Imperial Majesty, the interview of His Imperial Majesty, um, the Lutheran interview from '68, where he says, the Imperial Majesty says, "I have the highest respect for the Bible as a whole." We also recognize the rightful name the Bible bears, the Metzahafik Kedus, the Book of the Seven Seals. Uh, that's the part that we put in through through inspiration. But he says that we also recognize the rightful name the Bible bears. We find that in all the periods of the Old Testament, in the times of the patriarch, kings, and prophets, great miracles were done. On the other hand, the time in which our Lord, Getach and Adonenu, our black Lord and Savior Jesus Christ himself, gave the command to go to all the world and to preach is also of highest 
of highest value, the Great Commission. His Majesty recognized that the Great Commission is of highest value. In other words, for us to become disciples and to grow up to him in all things and to go forward and to preach and to proclaim. You understand? Because it says that this gospel will be preached in all the earth, and then the end will come. If we wonder why the end has not come, it's because the good news has not been proclaimed in all of the world. And there's still many who have not heard. And his match says, Then Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John, the four gospels in which the sayings of Getach and our Lord are recorded, are pillars for all men on the earth. Then we touched on in the last video, pillars. And also point out the World Trade Center, how if they said if the van was parked by one of the pillars, it would have brought down the whole building or it would have brought probably one building colliding into the other. You understand to the importance of pillars, right? And he says, therefore, the Bible should not be cut into portions, into pieces, you know, like the New Testament from the Old Testament or even the apocryphal books, even though they have a specific order. Now, His Majesty's Bible, though he translated all of, the, all of the scriptures, all of the Ethiopic scriptures, the one that was published most broadly is this one, the Metzahafic Edus, you understand, which right here has the, the seven seals, you understand, the seven seals that are featured in, in, in the book of uh, Revelation, which means the Metzahafic Edus, and it means the book of the Holy, or the scripture of the Holy. This has 66 books, yet His Majesty is also responsible for the additional 15 other books that also have been translated by His Imperial Translators, and we have that available as well. So we ask ourselves, well, if there's about 81 books, why does it have 66 books? Is it inferior or whatnot for that, as some would think? No, it's not. This is the foundation right here. So we do understand why His Majesty published this in the 66. So don't get it twisted. Some get it a little twisted. I want the 80, I want the 81 books, so forth and so on. Well, you can't get into those 15 books without having a foundation, you understand, in these 66 books, but beginning off by keeping the Sabbath set apart and holy, remembering the Sabbath to keep it holy, you understand, that is the beginning. But they don't want you to, to think on the Shabbat. They don't want you to think on the Sabbath. They don't want you to be conscious. They want you to be unconscious. So they have parties and dance hall and clubs and a, a lot of other dissipation and, and fleshy and carnal activities, you understand, to um, cause you to uh, uh, lose yourself. Like they used to say that um, girls used to um, um, sow wild oats. Girls and boys would sow wild oats on like um, um, Friday or Saturday. Right, and then they would go run into church on Sunday to pray for crop failure. You understand? So ones are sowing their wild oats and thinking like that. Well, if I go to church, I just have to go to church. And I go to church, I'm I'm all right. So they're doing all, but that's 